We all have hopes and dreams. Sometimes, though, it can feel like those hopes and dreams are so far away. Luckily, we have a Kansas City woman in studio today who can help us. Her name is Shannon Olean. Shannon is a keynote speaker and an inspirational coach who travels across America talking and inspiring people. You stress anything is attainable, Shannon. I really, truly believe that, Alexis, and I have a question for you. Yeah. Have you worked 10,000 hours? You know, I've never tallied them up, <laughs> but I know where you're going with this. Yes. It's a book that we've both read. Yes. It's an excellent book. The, the book Outliers by Malcolm Gladwell. Yeah. And so Malcolm Gladwell outlines in his book that there's a principle of if you are willing to put in the work ethic, if you're willing to mm -hmm. put in the time of 10,000 hours, then your chances of success are far much greater in life. And that's it. It's that simple. In fact, are you familiar with my favorite artist right now, Macklemore? Yes. Yeah. yeah. And so he feels very strongly about that he, same raps about it. Same principle yeah. that he literally wrote a song called 10,000 Hours talking about, listen, I busted my my butt to get right. where I am today and all that I did was put in the work ethic. And this isn't some magic formula, but it truly is. A lot of the research is broken down simply how many hours people work at something. Absolutely. And so in the book, Malcolm Gladwell talks about, you know, uh, a chess player or maybe a violinist. Um, but the same principle is across really any skill or any art or craft. And so, you know, it's going to be proven that not every baseball player is probably going to have the same success as, say, maybe Alex Gordon. But mm -hmm. if you're willing to put in the time, your chances, again, are far much greater than if you didn't. When you travel around the country, I know that you speak to college kids and high schoolers. You said one time that you saw a common theme of kids giving up in the 11th hour. Yeah, yeah. I get really pumped up about people living these awesome, great, fulfilled lives. And I see far too many people stop 80% of the way through the 11th hour because maybe it's just gotten a little too hard or maybe they feel like, you know what, I can't do this, I'm going to give up. And my message to young adults and to adults all across the country and really the world for that matter is that if you are willing to just do a little bit every single day to get to your goals, maybe six months down the road, a year down the road, five years down the road, then your chances again are far much greater and I just really want people to live those amazing lives that I know they're capable of living. Where do you start if someone sitting at home watching this on their couch and they just woke up in the weeds mm -hmm. feeling down in the dumps like mm -hmm. it's just not going to happen for them. Yeah. Where do they start? you got to start with a goal. You've got to know where you want to be. You've got to have some kind of vision of what you want out of life and then once you know that all you have to do is be willing to wake up show up and ask questions. And that's what I tell folks everywhere because there's tons of people out there that want to help. Everybody wants the best for each other, even though I know sometimes it may not seem like that, but if you right. surround yourself with the right people, they can help you get those goals attained. So if you're willing to just start with a vision or start with a plan, and then today start writing down those goals, and then you can start asking questions, where can I get, where can I go to make these things happen? And if you write it down, it feels more attainable and yes. it gives you something to start for Shannon, thank you so much thank for joining you, us Alexis. today. For more information on Shannon, she's an incredible woman. We have a link on our website. Appreciate you coming in. Thank you.